Hi everybody! You want to evaluate the impact of a tariff in reducing imports. A good way to do that is to question the elasticity of demand and the elasticity of supply in the domestic market. How do you show that diagrammatically? Well, we are going to draw one, uh, a diagram where we have inelastic demand and supply domestically, and then we'll draw a diagram where demand and supply is more elastic, and we'll see how the level of imports changes either dramatically when there is elastic supply and reduces or it doesn't reduce very much at all when there is inelastic demand and supply. Right, when there is inelastic demand and supply, how do you draw this diagram? Well, we start with the price on the y-axis and quantity on the x-axis. Then you want to draw your demand and supply quite steep. So domestic supply and domestic demand steeper than what we're used to drawing. Your world supply is normal with the price of PW, where Q1 represents domestic production and Q2, domestic consumption. Now you want to show the tariff, so you shift this supply of the World Cup upwards, so now let's say SW plus tariff, and that leads to a higher price of PW plus T. Make that clear with the upward arrow. The arrow here represents the value of the tariff as we're used to. We now need to show what's going to happen to domestic production and domestic consumption. So domestic production increases from Q1 to Q3, domestic consumption reduces from Q2 to Q4. So we're used to that, but you can see how the level of imports hasn't changed very much because demand and supply are both quite price inelastic, right? That's the point we're trying to make here. So a nice evaluation diagram to say how the level of imports may not reduce dramatically if there is inelastic demand and supply for whatever this product might be. If you want to, you can also add on the government revenue so government revenue is this box here. Always worth getting into the habit of doing these three things on the diagram. Showing the government revenue and then the two losses. Okay, so we have a, a dead weight loss of consumer surplus. And this other triangle here on the side is a dead weight loss of efficiency. All right, so the same three labels that we're used to drawing right here. All right, so if you want to question the reduction in imports, then you would draw demand, domestic demand, and domestic supply steeper, quite price and elastic, and this will be your diagram. Very powerful. Let's now see what impact uh, a tariff will have if demand and supply are drawn more price elastic. Okay, so let's get constructive. We'll have price on the y-axis as usual and quantity on the x-axis. Now we're going to draw our domestic supply and domestic demand quite shallow. All right? So let's call that supply domestic and demand domestic. So quite shallow looking, not very steep here. Our supply of the wall curve there. And what we're going to show here is domestic production at Q1, domestic consumption at Q2 with a price of PW. We now want to shift this curve upwards to show the impact of a tariff. Let's do that and we'll call that supply W plus tariff. And as a result of this extra cost of importing, the price goes up to PW plus T. What we see now is, as usual, the increase in domestic production from Q1 to Q3 and the reduction in domestic demand from Q2 to Q4. And the point we're trying to make here is that the squeeze of imports is much more significant when demand and supply are drawn much more price elastic, much shallower. There is a big, big fall in imports from Q1, Q2 to Q3, Q4. Substantial fall right there. And again, worth labeling and shading in the areas like we did before. So the blue box is the government revenue. And then the two black triangles, this one here, is the dead weight loss of consumer surplus. And this one here is a dead weight loss of efficiency as domestic producers 
are producing extra units when they are inefficient at doing so. Lovely, all right, so we've done both diagrams, inelastic demand supply, elastic demand supply, and we've now evaluated the impact of a tariff. So these two diagrams are very powerful in your evaluation. Let's go to our checkers for both diagrams. Did we label our axes? Yes, we did. Do we label our curves? Yes, we did. Do we label our equilibrium? You can see here clearly, we definitely did. Do we show clearly the impact on domestic production, domestic consumption, and the level of import? Yes, we did. We also added in these extra three bits, the government revenue, the debt weight loss of consumer surplus, and the debt weight loss of efficiency. All done, beautiful, stunning tariff diagrams. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.